I'm Jonathan Montgomery uh, and I convene a 30 credit module called Bioethics Governance. Uh, bioethics Governance is a, a term I've sort of invented myself, although I'm not the only person who uses it, but to try and capture how in societies where we disagree on fundamental issues we can find ways to work our way through those disagreements uh, and reach to solutions about how we regulate some really hot topics. So we talk about things that are very controversial. Um, some of them are old controversies. So we discuss abortion, we discuss euthanasia. Some of them are all about scientific advances. So uh, should we have mitochondrial replacement therapies or what the media calls three parent babies? How long should we allow research to be carried out uh, on embryos? And what we're interested in is not just having a chance to talk about the issues, but also to work out how societies could grapple with them collectively. And what I'm trying to do is to take advantage of the experience that I've had of grappling with these things in public bodies uh, and make that available to you if you take the course and equip you with the sorts of skills that I wish I had uh, when I started out. So I've chaired uh, the Human Genetics Commission, a body that advises the UK governments on developments in human genetics and their social and ethical and legal implications. I chaired the Nuffield Council on Bioethics, which is the nearest the UK has to a national ethics committee as required by the UNESCO Declaration on Bioethics. I chair the Health Research Authority, which is responsible for research ethics committees uh, in England. And I've sat on lots of committees looking at particular guidelines, including getting prepared for pandemic flu, genetic testing of children. Uh, and I've learned enormous amount about how to get things done in these difficult areas from those experiences. So what the course tries to do is to make that accessible to you, give you a chance to talk about bioethical topics, explore the different techniques that we've used, licensing authorities like the Human Fertilisation and Embryology Authority, the role of courts, and to develop a framework to critique those and work out what looks like good regulation and what looks like poor regulation. How, for example, should we take into account public opinion? What's the nature of the expertise that we should have on those committees? And I hope by the end of that course, you will be equipped to engage in those sorts of debates from a position of strength and be persuasive and influential uh, in moving that forward uh, in our societies.